boy here at L Aquatics. I'm at the new fish shop, uh, Kevin Aquatics. Let's walk into the store and meet the owner, How you, my Greg. How's it, Greg? You good? Thank you. Welcome to the store. Finally. Thank you. You have a beautiful shop here. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see what we've got inside. Can you just talk us through what you have here? So, guys, Kevin Aquarius is a new store. It's only been open for 11 days. Guys, it's situated at 182 Floriston Road, on you. Guys, we've got everything that your heart can design and more. If we don't have it, we'll get it for you. So we've got one of the biggest selection of beaters in the south of Johannesburg. I've got their tanks coming up in the next two days. I've already received them. They're just finishing drying at the moment. Um, each fish is going to have close on six liters of water and it's going to be really special. Um, we've got over 80 beaters in stock in store. We've got Malawis. We have got peacocks. We have got flower balls. Pizzas, parrots, garamis, tiger bobs, cherry bobs, rosy bobs. We have got roseline bobs. We have got danios. We have got green terrace, silver dollars, malawis, platies, mollies. The list goes on. You have to get down to cabinet frames to be able to see it. You exactly. witnessed it first hand. Yeah, no, it's a beautiful shop, guys. Trust me, it's beautiful. Guys, we stock with Kari, we stock with Tetra. Anything else we can get it. We do kits for the guys. So if you're new to the game or a hobbyist already, we've got specialized lighting, we can do more starter kits for the kids, uh, we do the aquascape inside, we've got all the tools and everything, we've got the aquatic plants, our hardscape materials, we've got driftwood, we've got firewood, we've got different rock matters, uh, we've got dragon rock coming in. Black cloud coming in. Thousand light, you've just got to yeah. out now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, guys, anything that you want, you get here at the store. Here's the driftwood right there. Some rocks. You can, can you just talk us through this wood that you got here. Yeah, so basically, this is the spider wood. If you don't want too much bleaching, you take some bark, which is what we are to go for it. Um, if you want more of a barky setter, um, go with your driftwoods. Um, over time, they will cure the water and they won't need as much tannins. Uh, we've got the thousand layer getting its name from the thousand layers, layers in layer. the rock. Ah, Dragon good. rock, it, it's quite a coarse, hollow rock. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, we've got some river pebbles, we've got different gravels. So yeah, we've, we've got it and we can get more. Can get more. And you said you're extending? We are extending. Hopefully within the next couple of months, we're going to be pushing close on about 150 to 200 tanks in store. We're going to have a coffee area. We've already started the lounge area. We have a lounge area stand. here. And yeah, it's just going to grow in force and we have to yeah. nominate. And the social nights? Social nights every Thursday. Guys, we open 8.30 in the morning every day of the week. Monday to Wednesday until 6 p.m. Thursday nights, 9 o'clock. Friday, 6 p.m. in the evening. Saturday, 6 p.m. in the evening, and Sundays until 3. And Lovely we can time. courier to you. If you want something and you're based in Durban, we can get it. Lovely stuff. Dance. So if I can just take a video of all the fish, just to take my time, Greg, I hope you don't mind. Go for it, man. There we go, thank you. And I love these stickers here. So we've got Danio Zeppa Orange, Tetra Widow Pink. There we go. There we go, guys. Right here at Cabin Aquatics. Daniel Zeppelin Blue. Daniel Zeppelin Pink. Daniel Green. Zeppelin Green. Tetra. Hyphen Platy. Hyphen Mollies. That meal mix. Hyphen 
so terrible. Mala shocks. Malawi's in here. And guys, I'm not gonna say the names, I don't know the names of all the fish. Cory hyphen green. Guppies. All that blue cichlids. There we go. Some punas here. Blue orator cichlids. Some green terror cichlids. Silver dollars. Planter tank here. Green beacon. The sump area here. Trick and I got myself a couple of things too. There we go, guys. I, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, Trek. I came here to support local business, and this is the way we grow. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. And you are my boys, waiting for me. <laughs> you down there? Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. This is our Aquatics here at. Kevin Aquatics, lovely shop. Thank you, Craig. Cheers, man. Thanks. Sure. So, guys, I just got back from Kevin Aquarium. I mean, that store is breathless. It's amazing. It's the look and feel of the store. It's a beautiful store. It's different from all other stores that I've been to so far. They really concentrate their, their, their energy on the customers. They want the customers to have a great experience, great vibes. Um, yeah. So well done to uh, Craig and his partner for that. So I went to go buy some equipment. Uh, as you can see, there's um, the rocks that I got from him. Um, this is my old tank, my first tank. My wife wants to set up a tank for herself and 
I don't know what fish is gonna choose for this tank. So what I'm doing now is that I'm gonna cut the foam. I've got foam here, I'm gonna cut the foam. I've got uh, the dropped wood in that bucket there. I've soaked it in that bucket there. I'll change the water um, uh, soon. And then I've got um, substrate, black substrate, which is in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, let me just go to the bathroom and show you guys. It's soaking in the bathroom, the black substrate. So we'll keep this soaked for a day or two before we put into a Oh, we can just put it into a tank and then just drain the water from the tank and then run the tank for a week or two before we get fish. So without further ado, let me get started. Okay, I just made the markings there so that the phone fell. Um, I will cut it and show you once I've stuck it to the tank. I know I said I'll show you once it's stuck to the tank, but I thought I should show you the piece that I've cut out. And I've got the dull sided tape here that I'll use to glue it. I don't have any glue with me, so I'll just use this small pieces of this on each side and then middle just so that I can. Glue it. As you can see here, the previous owner, this is the second hand tank, so the previous owner used glue. We will cover that obviously with substrate, it won't be visible. Okay, this time I'll show you once it's completely done. Voila! There we go. And it is done guys, it's complete. Here's my escape. This is how it came out. I will fill it with water. And yeah, in two weeks time or next week, whenever my wife feels like going to the fish shop, she will pick up cute little fish for this tank. Okay guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.